from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon, I'm student meteorologist Quinn Mulhern with your afternoon campus weather service forecast. Taking a live look at Beaver Stadium right now, not a cloud in sight, a very beautiful day out there. However, that, it, that sunshine is a little bit deceiving given that the temperature is 23 degrees with a feels like temperature of 16. So you're definitely going to want to have your jacket out there before you just think that it's going to be sunshine and warm. That's definitely not the case for now, but that will be the case later this week. Taking a look at current temperatures first, you can see State College relatively uh, average right now around 23 degrees, but our colder spots back towards the west, Dubois, Johnstown both at 19 and 18 respectively. A little bit warmer as you work your way towards the southeastern portions of the state, 27 down in Harrisburg right now. Looking at the entirety of the Commonwealth, you can see that Philadelphia is our warm spot right now. Warm being a little bit of an uh, interesting word of use for that because 28 is not very warm for Philadelphia right now. But you can see there's really not much of a temperature gradient at all across the state. Only upper 20s in the southeastern portions of the state and only the upper teens in the northern tier of the state. So not much of a difference in temperatures at all depending on where you go. Temperature is not going to be changing that much, but luckily, as I said before, there will be a warm-up. And you can see right now that trough, those uh, blue and those pink colors, that represents our cold air, and that's going to be moving off the Atlantic coast, allowing some of those warmer, brighter colors to move in, which represent the warm air that's going to be coming out ahead of our system. Temperatures will shoot above average, and it will be feeling very, very pleasant before we receive our rainfall on Thursday, which will be coming out ahead of this cold shot that will be diving in from Canada. Before we get to that system, however, we can take a look right now, and as you can see, no clouds at all across Pennsylvania, and very few clouds across really the entirety of the Northeast, just a few lake effect showers up in upstate New York. But as we go through the week, we're gonna warm up, but those clouds are gonna build back into the region, and by the evening commute on Thursday, you can expect a few showers working, its way, working their way across the state, really widespread for much of the region. Almost everybody will be seeing rain, come the day on Thursday. And then as we go through Thursday night, you can see some of those showers do switch over to snow on the backside as cold air really wraps into the system. And we'll have those scattered showers, scattered snow showers, that is across the typical spots that see snow in PA, such as the Laurel Highlands and the northern tier of the state. Finally, those showers will begin to move out of the region and come the weekend, you can expect mostly sunny skies for the state, which will be very, very nice for any of you who are going out to enjoy Thon this weekend. So taking a look at what we expect for today, I'm forecasting a high of 33 degrees with just a few passing clouds, west wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. It will be a very pleasant day, but you're going to want to make sure that you have your jacket with you today, and especially tonight as temperatures definitely dive into the lower 20s, forecasting a low of 21 tonight, partly cloudy skies, and you notice now that we have a light south wind, which is going to be a sign that we're going to be bringing in some of those some of those higher temperatures, that warmer air from the south. And that's exactly what we expect for tomorrow with a high of 45 degrees, very, very pleasant, mostly sunny and much warmer, a little bit gusty out there. So if you are wearing a hat, I would suggest that you hold on to it because there is a chance that it could be blowing away. Taking a look at the next seven days, we can see that warm up really, really progressing through Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday before those showers come. Thursday night temperatures are going to crash and we're going to see some of those back end snow showers, especially across the western portions of the state. But come Friday and Saturday, fourth on, we can see that we're going to be warming up. Those clouds are going to move out of the region and we're going to have a very, very pleasant end to the weekend and beginning of next week. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Quinn Mulhern. Have a great day.